Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall talk about the commutator of position and momentum operators. Suppose we have two linear operators A hat and B hat. Here the hat is used to distinguish them as operators. Then the commutator of these two operators is defined as this way. This simply means that when the commutator act on a function say phi for example then that is equal to the difference of these two results now why is it important this is because the order in which the operators act on a function matters by this i mean that a b phi could be different than b a phi this is because if we say a b phi that means that closest one to the phi that is b in this case first will act on phi and then a will act on this result similarly for b a phi b will act on the result of a phi so a b and b a could be different of course if they are same then the commutator between them is zero and we say that these two operators commute and also an operator on itself commute. There is also anti commutator which is written with curly brackets and defined this way. Note that here the sign is plus. The position operator x hat is defined such a way that when x hat acts on a function it means that it is equivalent to the x multiplied by that function if x hat acts on a function multiple times say for example k times then this is equivalent to x to the power k multiplied to the function f of x the momentum operator p hat when it acts on a wave function of definite momentum, it returns as the value of the momentum multiplied by that function. And it is written as or defined as this way p hat equals h squared by i partial derivative with respect to x or minus i h squared d by dx. Now to check this, we act P on the wave function of a free particle, which is a function of definite momentum and definite energy. So when P hat acts on this function, we write this with the definition of P hat this way. Now, when we act this differential operator with, on the exponential function, we get the exponential function and we get the uh, multiplication with i p by h squared and we, if we simplify we get p which is a number multiplied with the function that is when p hat x on the function it gives us the value of the momentum multiplied by that function now the both the position and momentum operators are linear operators that is they follow some rules if a hat is a linear operator and if it acts on a phi where a is a number and phi is a function this is equivalent to this that is if a act on the phi and that result is multiplied by a also if the linear operator a hat a hat acts on the sum of two functions phi 1 or phi 2 phi 1 and phi 2 then this is equivalent to the sum of these two results if two operators a hat and b hat both are linear and the sum of these two operators act on a function this is equivalent to the sum of both of the operators acting on the function separately and also a b phi means that b will act on the phi first then a will act on this result which we talked earlier now to get the commutator 
of position and momentum operators, we act this commutator on a function, an arbitrary function, which we say that a function of x, and then we simplify to get the result. So, an x hat, p hat, commutator of this, operate uh, act on phi, we write this with the definition of commutator this way. So, since both are linear operators, we write this one equivalent to this. And now, then we write this way that x hat will act on this result. And here, this means that p hat will act on this result. Now, first, we will replace this operator and this operator with their values. So, p hat we replaced with the values. And x hat, since this means that we multiply the function with simply x, then we write this. In the next step, we will replace these two operators, x hat and p hat. So, we get this. This is plus sign because here there is a minus and p hat has a minus. So, we get this. Now, when we act this differential operator with the product of these two functions, we get this line. And this is equivalent to this with different sign. So, they cancel out and we are left only i a squared phi of x. So, therefore, we have the commutator acting on this function is given as i a squared phi of x. And now, since this equation holds for any arbitrary function phi of x, we can drop phi of x and we write that the commutator is equal to i a squared. Here, the right hand side is a number, but we have we can view this as operator because the number when it operates on a function, it means that we multiply the function simply with that number. Of course, if we write the commutator this way, p hat x hat, that is equal to the minus x p hat equals minus i a squared. Now, this is for one dimensional. In the case of three dimension, we have the position operator which includes x hat, y hat, and z hat. Also, the momentum operator is equal minus i h hat gradient operator. The gradient operator includes the derivative of all three x, y, and z. Now, the commutator of these two operators is written as this way. So, when if we write x px, this is equals i a squared. If we write px x, this is equals minus a minus i a squared. So, x do not commute with px, but x commute with py. Because when we say py, we have the derivative with respect to y. So, since this doesn't operate on x, so they commute. Similarly, x had commute with pz and all this. this. So, there are nine commutators, which also can be written as this way. If uh, here, delta is the Kronecker delta, that is delta ij equal 1 if i and j are same and equal 0 if i and j are different. So, pi, p1, if we say p1, sorry, if we say x1, that means that x and if we say p1, that means that px. That is, we write this uh, x1, x2, x3 equals x, y, z and the p1, p2, p3 equals px, py, pz. And when we say p1, we mean that minus i a squared d by dx1, that is minus i a squared d by dx. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.